Hi guys, so this is just a really quick and impromptu reading for whoever needs to hear the message the most. These readings are timeless, they're not zodiac or gender specific, they're just the strongest energies that's currently around the collective this time. As always, I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. And for everything else, please read the descriptions box. Okay, so completely general read for whoever needs to hear the message the most in love, please. Okay, so we had a jump there. Right, so that's the Four of Cups, it's Cancerian energy. Right, I'm getting with this one. Someone is hiding their feelings. Um, it could be that they weren't appreciating a good thing while they had it, but this is more about hiding their true feelings, especially with that crab as well, hiding in its shell. Um, so this is someone who could be quite uh, sort of stoic, someone who's very hard to read and someone who you just don't know where you stand with them, with that energy. And then we've got the Seven of Swords, that's Aquarian energy. Um, again, yeah, um, lies, deceit, uh, lying through omission as well. Again, hiding feelings, definitely. The Two of Coins, that's Capricorn energy, trying to come to a decision, trying to balance out their feelings and emotions, which is more likely to be the truth here with this Two of Coins. Um, there's a change happening though, because there's that little snake on that Two of Coins. So there's a change happening with the individual who is hiding their feelings from you. Uh, something has been growing behind the scenes. It's like um, their feelings have been growing for you and they're not sure like what, what to do about it. Um, okay. Thank you. The King of Wands. Right, that's Leo energy. So this individual is considering on what type of action to take, how they're going to do it, when they're going to do it. And um, that's a very go get them energies. Um, but th there's something else with this as well. The way that they're going about it, it can be seen as being less than honest. So I don't know if there's someone else that's involved with this person or anything like that, or someone else involved with you. Probably not. It's more likely to be them because they're the ones that are coming across as being a bit devious, sneaky, withholding. They're, they're very much keeping their hiddens their hidden, their feelings hidden from the world here. Um, the Nine of Cups is Pisces energy, wish fulfillment. Yeah, that's what they're aiming towards. It's what they would like. And then we've got the Six of Cups, that is Scorpion energy. Someone from your past or a past life, there could be an age difference here too. Um, this is soulmate energy. So your person, is definitely keeping their feelings to themselves because look we've got cups 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 and then the seven of swords so that is lying through omission um, they're denying their feelings to themselves for the longest time keeping it hidden from everyone else that's around them pretending like there's no issue and it's just building up and building up that's what we're seeing here this individual is trying to come up with some kind of a plan here with the King of Wands and Two of Coins on how, as I've already said, on how they, they're going to take action towards this. This is going to be really difficult for them though to pull off because they're still denying their own feelings to themselves as well. So I, I don't know, that's, that's not going to work out great for them. So anything else please? Well, oh, thank you. Okay, so that's the nine of wands and it came out in reverse. So that's, um, yeah, <laughs> pulling down that uh, internal barrier, um, being more willing to let people in to their heart space. Also with this, this is someone who is trying to come up with a plan on how they can make themselves seem 
somehow less threatening or I don't know may, maybe there's been a fallout here between you both and now whenever you think about this person your, uh, your, your barriers go up and you're very uh, defensive against this person and they're trying to think of a way on how how to rebuild that trust how how can they uh, come back in to your life again and then we've got the six of wands and um, that's leo energy i can't remember if i said the nine of wands is sagittarius your yeah, six of wands is uh, Leo energy and it's all about joy, success, celebration, victory. So yeah, this individual, they've, they've gone through that internal struggle um, they've gone through that denying that there was something between you um, to trying to analyze what it is that's between you. I'm getting a strong impression here that whoever this individual is, they're, they're not used to um, being close to people. They're, they're not used to uh, emotions. Um, so that this could be someone who is really, really young, or it could be someone who's older and they've just been through so, so much in their life that they're now at that point in their life where they became... Um, a bit not not hateful towards others but just not letting anyone in in the first place you know they've become stoic over time because of their life experience it could have been that um, but that's played against them though in a lot of ways because this connection with you they've tried to ignore it and they've sabotaged basically they, they sabotaged this connection relationship situationship whatever it is for you they sabotaged it because they were too withholding, they were too stoic, they were too withdrawn, they were too much in denial uh, for this situation to, to actually grow and get anywhere. We are seeing a turnaround though in their energies and now they're focused on having a victory. Um, they might try and get your attention as well. They're, they're going to try and do something that's quite unexpected to get your attention. Is there anything else to this, please? Thank you. The Six of Coins. Uh, it's Taurus energy. Okay, so that's all about sharing, charity, uh, doing your bit, playing your part. So whoever's resonating with this read, is indicating that your person is now coming round to the idea that they've got a part to play if, the, if they want to um, indulge in whatever this is they have to do their part and we're being told here with the knight of swords uh, gemini energy to expect the unexpected also feelings the the feelings here were very very unexpected Ooh, the lovers, Gemini energy. There we go. That's confirming exactly what I've just said. They were not expecting to fall in love with anybody and they've fallen in love with you. And now that they, they want to do their part, they're afraid of emotion because they feel that if, if they show emotion, then they're going to be taken advantage of. The Eight of Swords more Gemini energy, yeah, overthinking the situation, overanalyzing, sabotaging the connection as well through their overthinking. Knight of Wands, uh, Sagittarius energy. So there's something that goes against the grain here with the Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands is not somebody who follows the rules, but rather they make up their own rules. Ace of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a true love situation here. And this is someone who is, I mean, the, the emotions are there and the, the, they cannot escape their own emotions. It doesn't matter how far they travel um, away from you you know, to try and get away from you, to try and get away from how they feel towards you, it doesn't work. 
and it hasn't worked because the emotions, they're only growing stronger. And the more time that passes, the more this individual is stuck in their head. Three of Cups, Cancerian energy, a reunion, a reason to celebrate. And yeah, for some of you, your person, they are involved in another connection or situation someplace else. Um, there, there's definitely a few different individuals that are involved here with this. Um, I'm not seeing the exact reason as to why someone would be trying to hide from their feelings, run away from their feelings. And then we've got the High Priestess, Moon Energy. So yeah, this is a spiritual connection. This individual has been bombarded, absolutely bombarded with uh, synchronicities, spiritual messages, dreams as well. Uh, you could you could be having <clears throat> full blown conversations with each other in your dreams. This is definitely a very deep and meaningful uh, soul connection here. Um, th there's something. It's a soul contract that has not yet been fulfilled. And under there, the eight of coins, Virgo energy. Uh, this could be someone that you met at a place of work or a place of uh, education because your coins is work and education. I'm seeing this as you're going to be working on it. You're going to be building together and you're going to be learning more as well. There's a lot of learning in this read and the Emperor under their Aries energy, Divine Masculine energies it can be as well, and the Queen of Wands Aries energy again. Um, so there's, there's a sexual desire here. There is a lot of love um, and a lot of sabotaging as well. So if you're resonating with the person who is currently trying to run run away from emotions and hide your feelings. If that's you, then you're being asked here to pay close attention to the signs and synchronicities that are around you at this time, uh, because you're both being divinely guided here, uh, specifically towards each other. So it's really important that you pay attention to your dreams and the uh, symbology that you're noticing is all around you at this time. It's basically your spirit guides, the universe trying to get you back on the right path here and get you into, into a union. Can you further clarify this read, please. Thank you. Yeah, the unsaid. Showing I love you or I like you without physically saying it or haven't said it yet. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional. String along or one night stand. <clears throat> okay, unconventional. So when I said I cannot find a reasonable reason why somebody would be hiding from their feelings, running from their feelings, even trying to um, move at a distance away from the other person to see if that will help. Um, why, why would anybody do that? What, what is the logic behind that? They're saying here, the logic behind it is because there's something really, really different about this connection or situation. There's something that goes against the grain with that Knight of Wands energies again. It's unconventional. There's something out of the box with this particular situation. Really, really out of the box. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth and changed mind. So Whatever this is, you're on the verge of a breakthrough, a change, a transition and a brand new phase. There is something very, very profound that is about to happen to the individual that is currently running from their feelings. Very profound. OK. 
Okay, mountain lion. Okay. So it says, patience, nobility, and boundaries. The mountain lion is the ultimate symbol for scrutiny. A reserved and solitary creature, the mountain lion preserves its energy and only attacks when the time is right. These noble big cats are sure of themselves. Being apex predators, they have few things to worry about, and that's why they sleep so much. Mountain lions are also very territorial, a reminder that setting boundaries in your life is very important important so with this one I'm getting the message here that your uh, soulmate and that is evidence that that's what this is in this read for some of you it could be a twin flame connection it doesn't have to be but it's a very profound soul connection you know you can't see that card it's too dark um, then they are basically waiting for the for the right moment <clears throat> to, um, I don't know if attack is the right word, but I'm pretty sure that you understand the meaning anyway. Um, they've, they've gone through a lot during this period of separation, right? They've analysed a lot. They've understood that they sabotaged something that was absolutely beautiful and very, very important. They sabotaged a connection that uh, they didn't fully understand and we're seeing here that they're going through a lot of changes they're spiritually maturing as well and it's it's like they're getting ready I, I get the feeling that you're being watched as well with that mountain lion energies okay and you're being watched uh so that they can figure out okay now is the best time for me to to strike to uh to go in and say whatever i have to say and then take things from there. Um, I am getting this sort of stalker vibe with that mountain lion. It's nothing bad, it's not. It's just, um, you know, when when you think about it, how, how do they hunt? They, they stalk their prey. Um, you're being observed, definitely. Um, whoever this is, they would like to come back and speak to you honestly, however, it's not going to be easy. It is really, really not going to be easy because with any kind of spiritual connection, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that can make an individual feel that they're going crazy. All right. So you have to take that into account as well. Um, this individual, they don't want to come across as being weird or um, you know, it's like they don't want to be viewed in an incorrect light, basically. It's a difficult situation because you absolutely have to take into account the spiritual element. And whoever, if you've been through that, then you'll know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Because it makes you question your own sanity. Let's be real. It does. And that's exactly what this person's going through. They're, they're wondering shit if I say this or if I do this how is that going to come across I'm going to look weird I'm going to look strange um you know it's it's never an easy situation but to get to the point of the read um your person while they are still definitely overthinking things they would like some kind of a reunion some kind of a release to this energies that that's been building up a conversation at the very very least yeah really interesting read um a very profound spiritual vibe to this as well so if this is your person um just keep in mind everything that you've been through they're going through as well okay keep in mind the intensity of the type of connection that this is and the ace of swords is under there air energy gemini libra aquarius truth clarity revelation and a breakthrough so patience is required here and an understanding 
and understanding definitely you understand your person better than most you understand the energies that they've had to work through i think a bit of kind reassurance will go quite a long way as well in this particular situation okay so yeah i just hope that that's helped somebody out uh, that it's helped someone to make sense of the energies that they're currently experiencing and for whoever this is i mean i just really really hope that you understand that you're not going crazy you're not losing your mind it's just something that um is really difficult to put words to you know spiritual connections they they always are that way um and again <laughs> for those who have been through it they completely understand that not everybody out there is going to understand and you know what that's absolutely fine um interesting very very best of luck to whoever this is and yeah hopefully you will get the results that you're expecting from your situation as well okay that is what i have for you if you'd like to book a private reading with me then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below thank you so much for watching have a lovely lovely week and i'll see you in the next one bye